Recently, a team of scientists and volunteers from NASA Ames Research Center searched for debris left in the wake of a large meteor that plummeted into Northern California on April 22, 2012. To expedite their search, researchers enlisted the services of an airship called Eureka for an airborne survey of the debris field. During a five-hour flight, they searched a 300-square-mile area. They used a sophisticated video camera system that is commonly used to cover sporting events. Researchers were also conducting ground surveys to look for fragments. Within days, a NASA team was able to find and identify a fragment as a type of meteorite known as carbonaceous chondrite. It is a really special meteorite because uh, this particular one contains the, uh, all the goodies that scientists are interested in, the amino acids, uh, all the compounds that could have uh, made life possible on our planet. Because meteorite fragments will quickly degrade when exposed to the elements, the rush to find them as soon as possible began. One of the larger fragments was discovered in the De Haas family pasture. I'm glad you found it there. I'm glad it's a piece that's going to be uh, valuable to science, and I'm looking forward to hearing some of the results from it. Along with the De Haas fragment, over 20 specimens have been recovered. Some of the largest are now undergoing tests in a lab at Ames Research Center. This discovery could provide clues as to what our planet may have been made from and how life could have begun on Earth.